Having trouble figuring out where to begin? Don't worry, I'm here to simplify things for you. Welcome back, everyone, to another video where we talk about the order you should play for the Wolfenstein games. There are over 10 games in the series, available on home consoles, PC, VR, and on mobile devices. Figuring out all the different timelines might be confusing, especially if it's your first time. But don't worry again, I'll make sure you don't miss anything. Instead of taking up more time like we did in our past videos, let's dive right into discovering the chronological order. If you're eager to follow the storyline, let's get started right away. Wolfenstein is commonly thought to span four different timelines. The exception to this is Wolfenstein RPG from 2008. First, there's the Muse Software timeline. This timeline includes the first two games in the series, which were top-down stealth action games. The first game you should play is Castle Wolfenstein, and after that, you can play beyond Castle Wolfenstein. Moving on to the 3D timeline. This includes the first group of games made by ID Software after they took over the series and restarted it as a first-person shooter. We have two expansions, begin with Wolfenstein 3D, Spear of Destiny, then Wolfenstein 3D, Original Encounter. Once you finish with the expansions, you can play Wolfenstein 3D from 1994, as it's the first Wolfenstein game developed by ID Software. Now let's talk about the return to Castle Wolfenstein timeline. This includes the second group of games made by ID Software after they restarted the series in the early 2000s. Start by playing Return to Castle Wolfenstein, then Wolfenstein, Enemy Territory, and finally, finish this timeline with Wolfenstein from 2009, which is set years after Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Finally, let's take a look at the Machine Games timeline. This includes all the games made by Machine Games, which are considered the current story of the series. The storyline can be a bit confusing because it blends different timelines. Initially, it appears to continue from Return to Castle Wolfenstein, but later it doesn't align with other parts of that story. The game Wolfenstein Old Blood adds even more changes, indicating that the latest games exist in a completely separate story universe. So, start playing Wolfenstein The Old Blood, which is a standalone expansion to New Order and happens before its story. Next, you can play Wolfenstein The New Order. After that, Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, which picks up 5 months later. Then, try Wolfenstein, Cyberpilot, which is set 20 years after Wolfenstein The New Colossus and is the franchise's first VR game. And finally, wrap up with Wolfenstein, Youngblood, which is set one week after Cyberpilot. This standalone Wolfenstein offers a cooperative experience for two players and is set in the universe of the 2009 reboot. That wraps up the chronological order. If you prefer to follow the release dates of each game, here's the list. Take your time to note everything down. As for what's next for the Wolfenstein franchise, Machine Games hasn't announced anything yet. However, it's probable that the team will eventually develop another game. In 2018, Pete Hines from Bethesda expressed excitement about a potential sequel, saying, absolutely we're making a Wolfenstein 3. However, the studio's plans have shifted over the years. Machine Games has announced that it's now focusing on developing an Indiana Jones game. That's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content, and until the next video.